Welcome back to Nest. I'm Rob. In the last episode of Learn to Code, we worked on this daylight sensor to control our lights in an automatic fashion when it was nighttime. But we could also use this one to control these. These beautiful solar panels. These are the heavy model, doesn't matter if it's the normal model, as long as they're controllable. We will be altering the orientation of them so we can have a good efficiency on the panel, so we can get maximum power out, out of them. <clears throat> First we're going to do it with logic, and then we're going to move on to some IC using the one over there, which we're already using, so we can save on materials. So, first we need two readers. I'm going to have a little bit of space between the readers, mainly because I don't want to uh, mix heavy, uh, mix power, the power line and the control line on this to, to simple, uh, simplify or to sim to show that it's a base sort of installation where you wouldn't do that anyway. And as the data sensor in this network over here, we can then put a cable here and then this will just be light cable. So we're going to put a batch rider here and another one right there. Lovely. Then we're going to take our tool and put some cables. Like so. And we're going to put another one there, because we need to get the sensor. Like so. Then we're going to take some light cables and pop and pop them here. Nope, not there. Like so. And here, of course, we want to go straight across. And then we can just pull down the cables here. Like so. There we are. Lovely. Let's name these items now. So this one will be horizontal. And we're going to do a horizontal here. And this one will be vertical. And another vertical. Lovely. So first thing, let's send the vertical to the solar panels. So on the reader, we would do a data sensor vertical. And we have a value. Good. Go down here and let's take it on. Yes. Let's on the input we do the reader vertical. Output is the solar panels. And we want to do the vertical. And see they're now changing to the orientation of the sun. The trying to So let's do the horizontal and a horizontal input there we are and here we do logic reader horizontal solar panels horizontal on now does that look correct to you <laughs> well it does not to me we are getting some efficiency i would not call that good it's 78 percent it's 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 bad. We need a little bit extra. So first thing first, we need to change. No. So first thing first, we whoops, we uh, we need a processor. We put that here like this. It's upside down, I know, but that's because we have the power here. Then we need a memory unit, like so. And we can then pull the cable around for this. So, so. Good. And we need some heavy cables. For that one. So, we are. There we are. Let's pop that over there. Let's get our memory tool. Go to our memory tool. And here we tab in 90 as a 90 angle. Yeah, so we'll be changing the, the angle of the vertical. So in here we do the in, the, uh, the vertical reader. And we do the memory here. We do an add. Then we go down to our best reader for, best writer, sorry, for the vertical. And we do the math. Now that we've made that, you see, they don't like that at all. What do we do now? Well, either we fiddle around with some numbers over here 
to change this. Or we could try move this one. How about that? So what if we currently, that one, that data port is facing that direction. Uh, that is the sunrise, so that should be east. That should then be north. If my geographic is correct. So we will swap it around, place it toward the south. And let's see how that goes. So cable, cable. I don't know if I can make it before it's over. Let's see. Data center. Data center. And look at them. They are turning around like... Wait for us, wait for us. Let's see. Ah. What? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't give them any... Vertical... Horizontal. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hurry up. They are not rotating very quickly. So, 83. Good. But that is sunset. Let's put the time of day to morning. So now, sun is rising over there. They're changing around. And what do we get? We get a good 94. And it is slowly going up because the sun is going higher. It should max out at 99. There we are. 99. That for me is quite good. And it's not super complicated to put in. So as long, and this is on Mars, as long as the data port is facing sunrise, and when you have the sunrise on your right side, the data port of the data sensor is facing towards you, then you're good to go. Then you can do this setup. Splendid. Now, what if you don't want to do it this way? If you want to do it, I see. How would you do that? You see, now it's an error. That's because you're missing the data sensor after you moved it. Well, <clears throat> first of all, we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five here. That's 50 watt, meaning it's the same as one of these. So if you were using this one to also control the light, you could save power by doing this setup in that one, which is what we're going to do now. So let us let me clear everything up, and then we'll see how it goes. There we have it. They are no longer active. Everything has been disconnected. I did pull a straight heavy cable to the solar panels just because it was easy that way. So <clears throat> let's first... Let's go in and see what we can do about this one. First of all, I want to fix that mistake. There we are. Let's see if we can change this now so we can work with the solar panels as well as the daylight. So it'll be like a two-in-one solution. So first, let's get solar panel. We want the heavy and we want to get this one. Nope, that is not the one. Uh, 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 uh. Solar panel heavy, dual, what, what is rippled? Dual, okay. So it's this one, and we get that number. Uh-huh. Right, click on this one, you pause the game, so you can program your way out of everything without thinking about your water and your food. <clears throat> Let's just pop this number down here, so we have that. Um, what do I want to do? So currently we're reading the daylight active. We want to read some other things as well. But we don't need to do any uh, D up here, the D input. So we don't need to think about that. So we know we already have the R1. So let's load R2. And we want to do daylight. Uh, vertical. And load... Load R3, daylight, horizontal, that is definitely not correct, horizontal, yes, there we are. So now we read the two inputs into these, good. 
So down here, we can do an add, and we want to take the vertical, add 90 to R2. So it's the same, it's the same value. And then down below, we can do set bats device. We're going to do that one. Vertical. Mm -hmm. I cannot spell R2. That should be the same as what we did before. So we read the, the vertical, we add the 90, and we send off to it. And we're sending off to all of them. And same goes for the horizontal. We just do that. And there we are. Let's try to see how this goes. Export that. Put that in there. Huh. What did I do wrong? Ah, ah, yes, that, 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 that would maybe not make that. <laughs> Let's see how it goes now. Go, we, do we get to 91, 99 again? We are. Let's do the morning again. Excellent. Same thing as before, with tiny bit amount of code. One sensor, you get to 99. Of course, in the beginning, it mm, takes a bit of time to get into shape. Lovely. Now, what if you have one that is not the same as the rest of them? Well, you could do a, a, a load so if you do, uh, let's see here, down here, we can do down here. Uh, load bats. Uh, we do that to R4. We do this one. And I believe it's called efficiency. Maximum charge. Vertical. Ma maximum. Is it maximum? No. Ratio. Do we have a ratio down here? Ratio. Okay. We do ratio. Ratio. And then the mode. We want to read the minimum. One. And we do a set. DB. Setting. And R4. Take that. Put that in there. Put that there. That's not right. Ah, sorry. I took <laughs> I took the sum. We need the minimum, so that's two. <laughs> that one. There we are. 97, 98. And if we didn't change it to so this is the minimum ratio that's on the items so if we had one that's really really bad it would give us less so now we go to net to zero to morning and see it changed a lot so 89 so 89 percent 90 percent if you go here yeah seems to right right so now you have a reading instead of going to your solar panels you can actually read from this one and this you can then put on a screen so if i just had a screen uh, if you put a screen here, uh, do, 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 like so cable, so what is I want to do here is I want to put a trend on this one. Graph, as the graph is called, yes, graph display. Pop one of those out. Pop it in there. 
build him. And I have the data card. Yes. And we want to read from the IC housing. Lovely. So you can now you can see how, what is reading if you change it to let's say six hundred. It goes to zero. If you change to to one to to morning, so now it's morning is breaking over there, and you see the efficiency is starting to increase. Pretty decent, and it's getting better and better. Yeah, that is a way to read the solar panels. Is it the best way? I don't know. Is it the way that works? Yeah. Does it change on the other planets? Yes, most definitely. But you will just have to alter um, the, the the value, I believe it is. Um, the code is the same, so this one might be changed uh, orientation and the value that you add to it. But other than that, it's the same. So, that's all for today. I hope you liked my take on solar panels and we are so this is what you call a dual angle solar panel setup that is the only way to do a solar panel and of course if you do it tonight time again we still have daylight uh, we still have to send the light so we do two in one pretty nice pretty nice so with this one we save power and we have light what not to like Anyway, until next time, take care everybody, bye for now.